Alright, we should be good. Getting right into it. USM versus uh, American University. Starting off on Lijong Tower. This is the semi-finals of ECAC. USM's, I think, been undefeated so far. Hopefully that will, trend will continue today. Although that enemy tank just ripping through USM so far. Immediate 3k. I think the Maywall, I kind of missed it. I think the Maywall just completely ISO'd everybody from the supports. So a rare, a rare uh, first fight loss out of USM. Hopefully they can recover. I've always felt like this is one of the harder maps to to retake. We're gonna try by trying to pull them back towards point. He might die for this though. He doesn't have TP. Actually, they kind of back off. Always like that play. Let's his team break through the choke. Chase first go down though. Really is putting out so much damage, but it's just not going to be enough. Got college debt smoking everybody in the background. I stand with you. That's 50% gone already. I think USM's. Really not built up much for old Sophilia switching over to Ramatra trying to mirror that tank pick. And again, just not really sure what's going wrong here. It feels like USM's doing like no damage. I don't think it's any anyone's fault in particular, just maybe target priority, who knows. they pick it up here in a second they're gonna have one more fight and i think they i wasn't tracking but i think american au has a uh, more ult saved up right now at least have the orbit to open but there's all the counters just every ult in the game getting popped right now and i'm thinking au is coming out on top here good boop kill from jay at least but it's just not gonna be enough there's hope for a second maybe but usm not able to get that first point, AU taking it. I feel like that's the first time I've seen them lose a point on Lijong. At least that, uh, that specific map of it. Not too worried, it is, it is one of those maps, one of those points where if you lose that first fight, it can be super difficult to retake. This one's a little bit better in that, in that sense. I think AU pulled around left there. They're actually gonna have that priority on the site. Not the best situation. Trilobite's kinda caught out. And the ISO wall too. Ophelia trying to save, but that's just gonna cause more casualties here. Some support's coming in though. Jay first to go down. Ophelia trying to get damage off on that Cassidy, but it's just not enough. Just no picks coming out so far for USM. They managed to get 12% off on that point. I don't know how, but it is in a use possession now. Ophelia again ISO, but finally lower on finding that pick, that much needed pick. Maybe a breakthrough for USM. Uh, 
Looks like finally USM will get their first fight win. Pretty clean take too. See if they can get the momentum, momentum going. Got some ults charged up. This trilobite setting up. Uh, he doesn't have ult just yet. Maybe just going for a quick flank kill. See what he's up to. Actually spotted out. Gonna want to TP away from that. Maybe not though, just being an annoyance up there. This is an interesting rap from USM. They like completely traded places with AU. Very interesting way to play that, but first pick going their way. Actually just the Briggs going down. Now load on finding a big kill. AU's gonna back out, they, they're down both supports. Should be good percentage for USM. Ooh. Kinda tough. Ophelia's putting in work over there though, but... USM did just lose two ults and then the May uh, Blizzard was huge. Somehow though, Ophelia managing to stay up there, so get the... Uh, Work from unknown Bo and Jay, but she does go down eventually. USM at 90% though, they should have done enough. Still got Rally, still got Reaper ult. Wait, Ophelia didn't die. I don't know why I imagine that. So they still got tank here. Hey, you had to switch to the ball pick as well. Just for the touch. I try to like just go in and ult. Oh, actually getting stunned out of it, but. That should be it, USM. They may have one more touch. Nope. Much cleaner point there. Good to see. A little bit worried with that 0% on the last point, but... They pretty much rolled that one. Interesting, Loiron going for the May pick, trying to mirror their May. It's been causing some issues with the walls. I've seen the Mal the Malga come out. Ophelia ISO'd immediately. Probably gonna die for that too. So that's gonna be a quick retreat for USM. Gonna have to give up that first possession. Not ideal here, honestly. They should be back quick. Again, the support's just getting ISO from the rest of the team, but they'll be going down this time. Now goes so low, but so much health. It's such an annoying tank to try and counter. Might be time for you to consider a bit of a comp switch up. Maybe a Malgamir? Not really sure. We'll see. Looks like they're sticking with the same for now. Huge pick from Loiron. That's what they needed. That may was causing so many issues. A great wall as well. Should be another couple of kills. I like that ult from lower run. Great stuff. A lot of percentage given up, but... Should be alright. I think AU's up on ults as well. 
Yosem's gonna have to play things right in this next fight. Really pop on the orbit, but I like it. I can try and push up and take this choke. See Ophelia getting a couple. Yeah, he's forced all the way back to spawn. I really like that play, actually. I feel like this is one of the farthest chokes in, in like any of the maps that you can hold. More typical to play back here, but you can sometimes hold up. Bunch of ults getting popped for AU. The rally comes in, might be enough to save them, but at least forces out the counter rally. If USM can just burn time, Ophelius actually might be doing enough here in the background. So they can switch over. It's just not letting me switch, unfortunately, so we can't see what's going on, but somehow, maybe we'll see that play of the game, Ophelia bringing that back. Although AU has point right now. That's Mike, that's unknown bow going down. It looked like they had it, what happened? That's probably, that's probably point. Jay might not even get this touch. Stunned off. Lawyer run just barely getting on, but it's just absolutely not gonna be enough. USM's not even gonna come back with the retouch. That's sad, it looked like USM was good there. Um, I guess there's still maybe three up for AU. Not really sure. I thought it was just like a 2v3, but something happened over there in point. So AU coming out on top on that first first map. I, and I do think that was USM's pick. So not ideal. Um, I'm not, I should have checked beforehand. I'm not sure if we were looking at a bio. I'm gonna ask actually. BO7? Okay. So there's plenty of chances. Losing that first map is not a problem for USM. Alright, we are back, heading over to Midtown now. AU's currently up 1 0 against USM. I think this is their pick too. Actually they had to pick fans in chat, let me check. Yeah. So this was this was AU's pick. Um We have seen a little bit of USM here. I mean I honestly I think their defense was kind of noteworthy because I really liked the way they played it. Um, they usually just take this high ground and do not move off of it. And after a fight, they just walk right back up. We'll see if they do that again. Looks like they're at least holding over towards that side, but actually not quite playing the high ground. Interesting switch up. Great opening picks from Trilobite. Wind shot from lower on as well. Just the tank up for AU. USM coming on top in that first fight. Always good to win the first couple of fights here at least on defense. It's actually a pretty good stagger from Ophelia too. That's just great game sense from, from USM to push up there and try and take that tank who's kind of split off to the right alone. They're getting picked kind of early. Trilobite though, <laughs> at least making things even with the supports, but... I mean, what, meanwhile, USM's backline getting taken out. I don't know if that Bob is touching point. I 
can't spectate over to tell. It doesn't look like it. So it's not really going to buy you a semi time, unfortunately. Yeah, they're just going to off the back out. Ideally, you probably get a little bit more time than that, but they've got a couple saved up. Should have Rally coming soon as well. Ophelia to punish that, just the two players going up for AU, but USM just not grouped enough. Unknown Bow trying to maybe without enough healing to save Ophelia. Looks like she could back off if she wanted to, but she's choosing to just hold the high ground as much as possible. I respect the play, but USM's gonna have to back off now, just trial bite and J up. Should see some ults coming in in just a moment. I don't know what AU used. I think they, I know they used Malga. Let's see if there's anything else. But yeah, here's the ult battle now. Actually, Unknown Bow opening up with the kill. Trilobite Bite. Looked like he was going in for an ult. Maybe opted out of it. Probably a smart play. That Brig ulted. Could have just shield bashed. There it is. USM having to use pretty much every ult. They only have, um, they only have Bob for this next fight. I'm gonna switch over to the Ryan from Ophelia. We'll see how that pans out. I'm just trying to hold this corner for now. That's big from Luron and Ophelia. Should be plenty to win that fight. This maze probably not going to make it out of there too. Imagine USM punishes that. Almost, but they're gonna back out. Just over a minute now. I think AU just has a slight advantage on ults. Oh, Loiron going down to that wall. That's super unfortunate. That's a huge shatter, though. The Malgo ult to counter. Jay going down. Shatter might not have been enough. Yusem just keeps getting isoed by these walls over and over again. It's just Ophelia up. Oh, actually, Lower Round's back now too. Oh, they're gonna get that Malga pick, I think. That's huge. Lower Round chipping away at that, chipping away at that Cassidy as well. Now 30 seconds on the board. They're gonna have Rally. Maybe Reaper roll as well. I'm sitting in a pretty good spot right now. Oh, we were on getting flanked there. I don't know how that May was that far up. There's the rally. Is it enough though? Fortunately, it doesn't seem like it's gonna be. Still feeling up. The payload has reached the <laughs> it's gotta be super frustrating for USM. Still a minute on the board. 
see if they try and hold this up high or not. There's the shatter, <laughs> shatter again, sorry. <laughs> again, unknown bow opening up with that pick. And he was just completely forced back. I think they're gonna have about one and a half touch, one and a half more fights. We'll see, if USM wins this next one, that might be it. Oh, Trilobite by going down early there. Oh, everyone getting staggered a bit as well. It's gonna be a lot of space for AU. It is OT, they just need to win one fight, but they're gonna have to wait to group. They got that Juno ult to try and open up, and Reaper as well. Oh, Trial by just immediately going down. It is OT, I mean, it's not, it's not something to be disappointed about if you're USM, but I don't know. We'll see what they can do on attack. It's not always easy to push it all the way on this map. So far this is looking like it's probably going to be the biggest challenge USM's faced. Seems like a pretty even matchup, but AU just... I think coming out on top on the early early fight picks. A lot of that credit goes to their May. It's just been being a nuisance with crazy walls. Almost immediately getting that Ash down, just can't quite finish it off. You see them just like resting through this choke right now. There's that tank pick. Really just holding W, holding mouse one. Incredible first bite from USM. That's a great change of pace to see. USM just rolling through. going down early that's just gonna be a massive amount of their healing gone. Should have Shatter coming up in this next fight.
that's an interesting speed play. I've never seen that before. I like it though. But USM's health is just so low coming into this. It's gonna be really tricky. I like the play, but again, they just were not full health running into it. Still holding on to the ults. USM's got a few built up. AU should have theirs as well now. They just won two fights in a, in a row. This AU tank went up way too far there. Just seeing the low health bars on USM and getting a little too greedy. USM should be able to punish for that. Larry Run actually going down though. There's the rally. I think USM wins this regardless. Honestly, really good for USM to for their break to rally there. Although I say that. Unknown Bow's gonna be caught out there. You can't escape that way. <clears throat> now Ophelia getting iced by the wall too. Really unfortunate how that pans out. It looked like they had that high ground, but I don't even think they get enough distance for AU to push back here. They're probably just gonna go back to their up top hold. Looks like that's what they're doing. I'm going for another speed play up towards the bridge. The ISO wall again. Ophelia expecting the support there, but they're ISO'd off. There's just not enough, not enough health to go around. It's crazy. USM wins that first fight so quick. Uh, even with what is it like four fight losses in a row, there's still there's still plenty of time to work with, but they really need to get one like soon. I think they've they've built up they've been holding on to these ults for a while. Oh, I know Bo going down early. Honestly, like I think you just call it off of you yourself. I feel like they might not even make it out of here. This has to be so frustrating for them. It's just time and time again this may causing issues. There's someone else on their team just getting an early pick. That's really what it's coming down to right now. Again, getting just barely caught in that blizzard. Jay just stuck here in the back line. Ophelia putting in some damage, but just trial of bite and Ophelia left. There's the tank kill, but there's not gonna be any support here right now. Oh just Jay and Unknown Bow just barely back in time to keep them up. Now he's just gonna try and See if they can aggress before that tank's back. Really might be dead for this, unfortunately. Oh, Trilobit actually, we missed it, but got in a huge 2k. There's a third as well. Trilobit really saving that push. Looks like they're gonna have it. Maybe AU has one quick touch. Ooh, maybe not a quick touch. They have Rally. It's actually not looking good at all. The respawn timer is just so long. I don't think USM is anything for this. They don't even have the touch. That is tragic.
I don't know. I, I didn't see who got picked first for USM. I thought, I know they were down Ophelia. I think they must have been down J2. I'm not sure. So 2-0 AU currently. Kind of a surprising scoreline a little bit, but still at least two more chances for USM to turn this around. Next map should be their pick as well. Alright, we are back. Onto map 3 now. USM currently down 0-2 against AU. Not the usual scoreline we see from them, but this is a BO7. They got two more chances to try and put something together. A little bit of a roster change up too, we see Mauga and Cassidy. Oh, both supports just gone for USM, that's a guaranteed first fight to AU, even with the one pick. Again, just no picks coming out of USM there. Already a decent amount of distance for AU. They're gonna have this forward spawn. that Cassidy. Drobite's just gonna try and get back to spawn alive. Hundred meters are ready for AU. Usum's has some ults built up, but I assume they do as well. Be an important fight to win. Great kills from Lower Run and Trilobite. No run going down there at the end, but it doesn't matter. Damage has been done, USM finally in possession there. A lot of space given up, but hopefully they can get some momentum. Now guys just farming ults. Trilobite can't quite finish off that kill. At least forces out the rally, but finally that kill comes out. Actually should be enough. USM went out on top on a lot of those picks. Trilobite just really shredding away at the back line. There we go. That's 
Back to back fights, good to see. Yes, I'm getting some meters on the board. Over there. Trial by looks tempted to TP up there, but thinks better of it. Oh, trial bait's so close to finishing that kill. Getting a little greedy for it, maybe. I understand the mindset. That health bar is so low, but it's not enough. Oh. Yeah, AU, even while being bunched up in that room, they just... I guess I'm kind of giving them 1v1s, I think. That's what I've been noticing a bit of. They seem kind of indecisive on, on whether they want to all go in or... Or stay back. It's kind of what we saw there. I like the old combo. That may going down even with the blizzard. Ooh. That cast deal can be problematic. Ophelia apparently barely staying alive. What the hell? any other tank and you're just dead there. They need to get this Malga down like now, but it's not coming out the Juno ult. That was like the longest stasis right there in that fight, but somehow again we just see AU coming out on top. USM now. Still plenty of time on the board, but they need to get this possession back. AU has that forward spawn, I believe. Maybe they didn't get it though. Looks like they're all gripped up anyways. Oh, Trilobites, ISO barely able to escape, but Jay doesn't. Now both supports down for USM. This could be it, this is the final stretch. USM has to go all the way back. So that D-Mech as well, Ophelia getting D-Mechs. She's gonna have to run back, switch tanks. Trial Bit's not gonna get anything out with that. The rally comes in, but I don't even know if you can switch there if you're Ophelia. It might be, I think it might block you. You're forced onto the baby D.Va and that's it. That's AU 3-0 currently. Just one more, one more chance for USM to stay in it. I think they I think they're capable. I mean some of the fights are coming down to USM getting picked off early. Other ones are just so close, like this one right here. This is such a close fight. But I think it just went on so long that AU was able to build up their ults, so. Super unfortunate there. We'll be getting into the last map in uh just a couple of minutes. I'm gonna let them do their picks and then we'll be back. All right, we are back. Current scoreline: 0-3 AU. The USM's final chance to bring it back. We've seen some good fights out of them. We know they're capable. They've had a great season. Motivation or morale is probably a little bit low, but they can just win a couple of fights here. I think they can get that back up. There's just so much backline pressure. AU is just doing such a good job with that. And it's not really unknown Bow and Jay's fault. It's just how AU's been playing a lot of the time here. Just going for those support picks. So we do say you AC AU pull off that first fight. USM at least getting some damage up, getting some ult charge up. We see Lower Run already charging that. Wait, we see Trilobite on. I didn't even notice the switch up. It's Trilobite on support now, and Jay on on May. Very interesting change. 
in a slow run on Reaper. What is going on here? Guess I'm completely trying to switch things up, understandably. There's the first pick out of J. Gets traded though. It's like this Malga is just unkillable. There's always a rally or a general hold, something to save, something to save them. I don't even know if Unknown Bow gets away here. Just barely. That's the first point. Yusem's not going to have that retouch. NJ getting that opening pick with Ophelia going down. It looks like AU hey, had a player just fall off the map. Rally coming out. Lara on CP just chunk away this Malga, but it's literally like this Malga says infinite health. What do you do? And this is when you go for the backline, I guess, but finally, being a little bit too greedy there. Yusin's gonna have the advantage in this next fight. They just wanna take it quick. Really trying to pop the ult to stay alive, but everyone's gone for USL. It's just her up. That's the point. That's the point. Possession over to AU. USM's gonna have at least one more good fight. Got that Juno ult saved. That's kinda all they got to work with. Jay's first to go down. You know, some supports are just getting taken out again. They go in the back line. That's the second point. Over to AU. that general unknown bow with the opening. That's gonna be both supports down too, finally USM. The ones to take out the supports. Rally's forced out by Trilobite, it's unfortunately getting no value, but USM should come out on top here. Oh, Ophelia going down. Jay's so low too, at least gonna be able to get that med pack. He's gonna have to try to lower on Jay, both on low health, no support. That is tragic for USM.
just so much damage again. I'm feeling going down early because this Mauga just causing so many issues and has a 3k with the Reaper ult at. Insult to injury. USM really needs to get something going now. They're going to have three ults coming into this next fight. At least have the advantage there, but this is going to be their last chance to get something together. I'm getting that OT, but it's not looking good, Ophelia. Accepting defeat, staring into the ground there. That will be it. I do believe that was that was the 04. I'll watch this play of the game just cause, but yeah, USM, I mean it it hurts. I've been there. You have a good a great season and then you get swept. But making it to semifinals undefeated is definitely nothing to be disappointed about. You know, just shake off the loss. Come back next season. They put up a, a great fight this semester. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it for USM and ECAC. I I think they're out on NECC too. I don't know for sure. I haven't been casting that. Um, but yeah, I guess I guess thank you everyone who stopped by this this semester who supported this team that's always greatly appreciated and i hope everyone does well on finals good luck with that and i hope you have a good weekend